Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the box plot charts and enhance it with the help of the ggplot package. So box plot is part of your base package. So if you want to create a box plot, you will simply go ahead and write it box plot. And we will use the uh, inbuilt data set empty cars which we have used in the previous data sets which contains the miles per gallon of various variants of the cars by different uh, parameters like cylinder displacement, HP, horsepower, weight, automatic manual, all of those different things. So the first thing is take a numeric value which is mpg and create it by empty cars dollar cylinder. So once we do that, it shows us the box plot in a very simple way. Okay, this is how the box plot is for cylinder 4, 6 and 8 and this is the uh, outlier that it is well you can set and uh, set a certain parameter of it by looking at what are the parameter which are available by going into question mark box plot once you do that you have these box plot parameters where you have parameters like formula data or subset any direction and all that but there are not much parameters when it comes to make it more and more visually appealing which looks professional in your in your dashboard or as part of your report so what we usually do here in this case is get the library which is ggplot grammar of graphics a very standard library within the r to to make it make your existing chart more visually appealing as it has a lot of parameters and arguments to tune uh, to make it much more better or make a chart much more better according to our needs so let's create the gg plot for box plot so the data is empty cars and within the aesthetics we want on x-axis cylinder and on the y-axis we need mpg uh, and we need geom underscore box plot it's an enter all right so continuous x aesthetics it's because the cyl if i show you the structure of the data empty cars cyl is a number that means it's a continuous data whereas if you will actually see it has the values of four six and eight in the entire data set so what we need to do is convert it into a factor so what we can do we can go back to the previous command say yes dot factor no need to change directly into data set and hit enter and now it will not show you any warning but the similar data set but with little bit of more visually appealing it has a good background you know things are highlighted properly shows you the uh, properly outliers shaped in a dark circle highlighted in black well that's the first thing you can do next thing maybe uh, changing the y and x levels y and x axis label so what you can do you can go to the previous command or let's try doing this let's try to save the previous command in a parameter or in an object which is g all right now let's keep on adding to the object which is g containing all of this box plot configuration and saying labs x is equals to miles per gallon comma y is equals to number of cylinders once you hit enter it shows you an error uh, or the warning but maybe it, it is basically because of we have taken up this one so what we need to do is we need to go back to the previous command and make it factor all right and then this one now it's perfectly fine so nothing but we have just added the factor one and got this information back so your chart is becoming much more interpretable so mpg they generally business users generally don't understand similar so one thing i just noticed that it should be vice versa on x-axis you have you should have number of cylinders so this kind of Issues sometimes come um, and on y axis we have miles per gallon. All right, so let's store this information in a object. Let's say make it g1 
now the next thing you may want to do is uh, you may want to fill the information or fill this background information so for that we need to go into the previous actual command which is this uh, and remove the object because we need to set some parameters within geom underscore box plot and need to say fill is it let's say maybe blue hit enter and it is filled with blue and there is another parameter that you can set it is uh, color is equals to red so what it highlights is the line so this color is equals to red highlights the line that you have here on the box plot so that you can see it as a separate one but not uh, mixed up with the blue color um, the another thing you can do is maybe you can change the shape of this uh, by changing the or by tuning the shape parameter so let's go back to the previous command and within the geom underscore black box plot you just go and add shape is equals to let's say 25 maybe so uh, the shape has changed but because i think shape has not changed i think it may be because the parameter that we have specified because i think since we are trying to do it for outlier it is outlier dot shape and now it is changed i just recollected that it is for outliers but not like a normal one so this is how you can change the shape uh, you may want to specify something else i mean you can look at the documentation 23 maybe so it is changed to something else maybe it is going a little bit up in the direction of something else you can change the size also uh, if you want to do that and make it like a little bit more visually appealing by setting up these parameters so that's how you can make uh, make your box plot charts and last but not the least you have uh, themes so themes underscore bw or theme underscore you have other option like gray so like the normal one which you usually see here in this uh, box plot and make it more visually appealing if you finally want to know uh, some more parameters put question mark and say geom underscore box plot and you get a lot of information outlier color and position outlier fill outlier shape 18 outlier size like i said 1.5 or anything else so a lot of information a lot of parameters which are available to you it's just a matter of looking at it and setting it up setting it up in a right way you have a lot of lot of uh, information about or examples about how you can fine tune it Alright, so that's all for this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.